and gals, Co-Cadet CC30H engine oil and filter change. This is the 2020 and I believe the 2019 is the same way. If not, the only difference is you're going to have a knob in there you turn to release the oil and you're going to have to put, make you something out of aluminum foil or something to direct the oil out. This is you're going to use basically, oh, I don't know, 8 inch, 6 inch, whatever, uh, 3 8 inch extension. And it's going to go right in there, right there. Right in there. That's how you're going to open the oil. And this, this jewel comes with this. If you don't have one, I suggest it. Otherwise, you can simply make you one out of, I don't know, a piece of cardboard wrapped with aluminum foil or something is just going to channel the oil out. This does have a part number on it. Oil drain extension tube part 731-1682A. Come with my machine. And then something to catch it in in the drain, which uh, is going to be a little bit more difficult than it appears. I was hoping I could get this up in there, but I'm not going to be able to do that, so I'll get me a little bowl or something for this. All right, see, I've got this on here. Remember, righty tidy, lefty loosey. I got this drain tube under it, which I'm going to have to hold on, and I'll just use an empty oil bucket for this. And we will try to break this free, which is not very hard to do. Does anybody see a mess coming like I do? Because uh, I got to get the plug out of there while messing with this. So that'll be fun. Now I'm going to take and pull this off and get this big uh, ratchet out of the way. It's kind of a two handed job, as you can see. I don't know if you can even see in there, but I'm just unscrewing the bolt and there she comes can you see that and that that uh, deal is not doing a good job back there catching the oil because I can see it coming down As you can see, we got it out, but it is a messy job. You may want to take the the right side of the mower and prop it the wheels up five or six inches to help it oil come down the tube because it did spill in here and went a little bit down there. So it's kind of a messy job, which I would suggest just raising that side. You know, putting a couple bricks under that side or something. And then you just put that back in there and remember to go righty tidy and just snug it up. Don't put no Gorilla Force on it. You'll strip it right out. It's going to bring it snug. Like that. And you're done emptying the oil but like I said you're gonna make a little bit of a mess you might want to put six inch eight inch blocks under those two tires on the other side just to help bring it down that tube a little better than it did it's not really a good deal any way it goes you're gonna make a mess all right guys I want to tell you I don't know if you can see that but I had to use these to get that turning lefty loosey remember this way that was put on with Gorilla Force at the factory. Here's the new one. There's the part number 751-12690. You want to take a little bit of oil and put it on this gasket. Just like that. Before you replace it. But just bear in mind, this is going to be absolutely torture to get off. You're going to have to get you some uh, big vice grips or channel locks or something most likely it's no big deal 
but then the oil is going to spill on you. So anyway, see, we did get it loose finally, but it took quite a bit of effort. And it's off. And like I said, it's going to spill out some oil. That's why I got a rag under there. Now going back on. Should be considerably easier. There you go. It just spins. That's how it should do. Pull this baby out. Spin it on on. And you want to take this about as tight as you can get it by hand. You don't want to use any instrument. Just turn it, get you a rag so there's no grease slipping on your hand. Turn it about as tight as you can get it by hand. You're good there. Now we're going to go and uh, get this cleaned up a little bit and uh, put the oil back in it. I think it's 1.3 quarts, if I remember right. We'll put in about 1.2, start it and check it. I just got this from the manufacturer because it's so, what do you change it, once a year at best? And with the mess it's going to make, that's going to be enough. You might want to tip this side up and put some blocks on it, like I said. Uh, I just got this from the manufacturer, but it, any 10W30 motor oil, premium motor oil, like Pennzoil, Quaker State, will work. Any 10W30 that you would buy for your car, except it cannot be... Um, synthetic or semi-synthetic it needs to be straight oil convection conventional oil and uh i think it's about 1.3 quarts like i said we'll go a little under and check it you add it from right here in the fill cap of course you need a little bitty funnel to get in there the best you can and you send it home All right, I didn't bore you with a long minute long it took to pour this in, but I got this first quart pulled in. Remember, we did change the oil filter, which will also fill up with oil once we start it. And I know I'm going to have to have about probably three or four more ounces in here. And I'm going to have to start it and let it run for a couple of minutes. Shut it off, wait a couple of minutes to, and check it to get an accurate. But I just want to see where we're at on this. And we're at the low, just a hair below the low mark, which I fully expected at one quart. So I think we need to add about three more ounces. Make sure your funnel's clean too. And you can mark the side or you can eyeball it. You know, I'm just going to eyeball it because I have an extractor if I need it. Assuming. I can keep this in. See, I'm going to stop about there and call that a day till after I check everything. So now what we will do is put this on. Don't forget to put this on. You would have a very dirty engine very quickly. By the way, make sure the manufacturer, if you order an air filter, sends you the right one. They had the model number and everything, and they still sent me the wrong one. No big deal, but just a little hassle, but it's right in here. It's easy to change. I was going to do it today, too, but I can't because of that reason. Anyway, this is good and hand tight. That uh, plug is good and hand tight. And we're just going to start it now and let it run for a couple minutes. Shut it off. A couple minutes later, we're going to check the oil. for a couple minutes and I'll be back with you and we'll check it 
make sure there's no leaks anywhere and make sure the oil's right and wrap this up. All right, so it's been a couple more minutes. Like I said, this is a messy job. So don't think that you're gonna get out of it clean and neat, you're not. While I'm here, I can just make sure that I do not see any dripping from the bottom of this oil filter, which I do not. And we will check this for a final time. May still need another ounce or two, but go with about one, one quart and about three ounces. It's easier to add a, a touch than it is take it away. Screw it all the way in. Wait a second. Pull it out and see if you hit the lottery or not. And it looks to me like right in the dead center of high-low. Which is a good place to be. And you can always do it one more time if you want to double check it. Remember, screw it all the way down, then all the way up. Yeah, I'm right in the dead center there of high-low. Okay, so we got this checked. Uh, by the way, it's about one quart and around three ounces-ish. Put in a quart and a couple ounces and then check it after you've drove it like I did and warmed it up, of course. Check it with this all the way screwed in. If for some reason you're not changing this oil filter, then it'll probably take just a quart, maybe a hair even under that. But you should change this if you're going to change the oil. Because it's not like a car where you're going to do it every three months. And now we're going to come over here real quick, look back up under here, make sure I don't see any oil coming out from the bottom of that bolt. We do not. A little bit of a mess to clean up. And that is how you change your engine oil and oil filter on a Cub Cadet CC30H. Hey, I want to thank you for watching. Appreciate all of you. Take care. Peace.